Hello everyone, my name is Ravindra and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are seeing how to cancel an approval in Power Automate. So let's go and create a simple approval flow. So let's I go in the Power Apps and create a manually trigger flow. Let's provide the name to this approval one and select the manually trigger let's add an action here approvals so let's uh, use an action here create an approval let's select the approval type okay first to respond let's provide the title to this one okay approver and let's assign this to myself title is sufficient okay let's click on save let's add a compose action as well okay for this approval so we can get a idea of this approval okay so in the let's add one compose let's go in the dynamic input section and here we have the approval id okay so this we need let's click on the test manually save and test now let's click on the run flow done so now our approval is created okay the action is run successfully okay create an approval and we also get in compose action we also getting a guid for that approval okay so if you see in the outlook as well okay let's i do the hard refresh here so in the teams i receive the request okay approval and this is requested by me let's say go to the outlook on the outlook as well we receive a request here approve and reject okay so we need to cancel this one so let's go to the power automate one more time and let's create one more manual trigger flow so I am going to create, okay, click on instant and giving your update approval to cancel and selecting the flow and let's click on the create one. Here. Let's use an action here, update a row, let's give some space in between that. So this data was action we need to use, okay. Once you use this action, your flow is also become premium one here because it is associated with the dataverse and you should also have the dataverse capacity and the license to run this flow. So now we are added here update row action and let's select a table approvals. Let's use the row ID here. Okay, you can take the manually trigger as well. Okay, from the text input, let's I pass the text and in update row context we can be passed it from the dynamic content okay and it is you click on the more so input we can be pass it here then we have the stages here okay so stages we can be set to complete okay status we can be set to the cancelled and if we expand this one okay then we also have the some of the things okay like result okay so we will type the research can sell and also the status of this approval to the inactive one okay so let's click on the save this flow so our power automate flow is saving let's click on the test manually Let's pass the GUID here by using Control V. Let's I first copy that one. Okay. From the another tab, let's I go to the my this one. Okay. And let's copy this. Let's go to my new flow and let's paste it here and click on the run flow. Click on the done. So our flow is run successfully okay 
now if i go to the outlook and do the hard refresh okay it will take some time to reflect as well okay so now you can be see the approval for which this request was issued has been cancelled so in this way you can automatically update the power automate approval status to the cancel one now similarly we can also do the date we can also change the status okay let's run our power automate flow one more time let's i click on the edit let's click on the test manually trigger and let's run the flow one more time and this time we will set the if i go first compose okay copying this let's go to the our second flow in the update row context let's we select that stage to the completed okay and the status reason to the expire okay similarly okay result should be also the expire let's click on this flow okay and my outlook you can be see we receive the approval flow okay let's try to run this okay what output we are getting let's see manually trigger okay let's click on the test let's i pass the new uid and click on the run flow let's click on the done so our flows run successfully okay you can be see friends and let's i go to the outlook okay it will take some time to reflect here so let wait for couple of second and let's do the hard refresh here okay and if you see in the outlook okay i just received this one new one okay and the previous one is cancel in the outlook also you can be see okay who cancel that also been seen here so in this way you can be change the data says as well okay others have already completed this request okay so this type of response you will get when this is expire okay and if you see in the history okay in the approvals let i do the hard refresh here let's go to the activity and in the approval so i not able to get the options to approve or reject okay it is just in the requested state okay so mean this is expire that's why we are not getting any action i guess we are wrongly updating status okay let's say scroll it down status is inactive okay and if we see the so in this way you can change the status of your power automate flow okay dynamically by taking the help of approval table okay this is the aim of this video to understand and get you learn the all the things okay related to the approvals okay if you have to do any customizations okay in the approval by customly okay by using power automate you can use this approval table okay and the approval table lot of things you have okay like stage status reason okay result also you can reassign categorize this okay when this should be completed okay reassigning of this all these things you can be do here okay like someone missed the to fill some important details okay so by using this update row context okay in the approval table you can update your approval simply so you can take the help of this one and that's all keep learning keep growing keep exploring how nice it is.